Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic. I'm making a video today to show you uh, what, why, and how to update uh, things on your computer. Uh, some of the things that should be updating uh, constantly sometimes will pop up on the bottom here. You'll often see a bubble uh, that comes up and uh, ask you to update. And a lot of times people get confused on you know what it is that's popping up or you may be in fear that it's uh, you know some form of virus or something that's telling you something uh, it could be a virus uh, but I'm gonna let you know some of the things that are definitely not viruses and should be updated on your computer to keep it secure to keep it running well um, to keep uh, a lot of the software and a lot of the things that run on the internet uh, running the way they should basically and a lot of times people run into issues with these software um, or don't have them on their computer updated correctly because they're not sure really what it is uh, first I want to start out uh, with the Adobe software so we're gonna go ahead and navigate to Adobe's website and right now I'm just using Internet Explorer 9 uh, I do have multiple different web browsers uh, you can use whichever one you prefer so go to www.adobe.com go ahead and when you're on their site on the top bar here go ahead and click on downloads and to the right uh, you'll see four different pieces of software that are very important to have on your computer. The first thing is the Adobe Reader. The reason you want to have this is if somebody ever sends you a PDF, uh, maybe through email, and say this wasn't on your computer or you just reformatted your computer and you don't have this, you're not going to be able to open up that PDF. You're going to be able to download it, but your computer is going to be like, well, what is this? Um, the Adobe Reader is basically you know what software your computer would use to open that you're not going to be able to edit the actual uh, PDF file unless you have the Adobe Acrobat but the reader will at least let you view that that PDF file and that's what most people need to do so that's the first piece of software you definitely uh, want to have the second is Adobe Flash Player and what this is specifically it's a plugin um, what plugins are is just they're just pieces of software that display uh, internet contents that the browser is not designed to to do so it's basically a piece of software that runs in conjunction together with with the web browser to display what it's trying to show you um, flash player is just used to display a multimedia device uh, or multimedia stuff like a uh, video audio um, a lot of uh, internet web pages use Adobe flash content on their uh, site so if you don't have this or don't have this updated uh, sometimes you're going to get an error or the video is not going to display properly so uh, Adobe Flash is definitely one of the most important pieces of software to have on your computer like I said oftentimes you may have a um, uh, balloon here that pops up that lets you know that you need to uh, either download or update it Adobe Flash is something you do want to download and update it's a safe software uh, navigating to Adobe's website and going to downloads you can all this is free to download it's just free stuff that um, I recommend definitely having the other thing is Adobe Air, and uh, I got some information here for you on Adobe Air, just to familiarize you uh, more with it. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to some of the information I have on it. Maybe you're wondering what Adobe Air is. Pretty similar to uh, Flash. It actually uses uh, HTML, JavaScript, and Flash which you may not be familiar with uh, but it's like programming stuff um, HTML and JavaScript they're not necessarily programming languages but they're they're programming stuff for web browsers so this is an important piece of software to have uh, the the internet is getting bigger web browsers are getting more fancy um, I guess you could put it that way so having this a lot of people do use the software in you know programming their sites so I mean a lot of times you may not need this but but it's important to have just in case you do run into a website uh, that uses it in their uh, programming. So let's go back to uh, here. So those are the three things, Adobe Reader, Flash Player, and uh, Adobe Air. The last thing is Adobe Shockwave Player. And a lot of games on the internet, if, you, if you're the type of person that plays internet games, um, you know, stuff on Facebook, uh, just, you know, different, different uh, Yahoo games, 
you want to have shockwave player because a lot of those games are not going to open or not going to run properly or even when you try to open them they're going to let you know right away install shockwave player so if you ever see this here shockwave player it's safe download it put it on your computer run it uh, it's something you want to have to be able to play those games so if you ever see anything Adobe <clears throat> that's coming up that says reader flash player air or shockwave player and you're like oh what is that is that a virus it's not go ahead and run it install it on your computer these are four programs that I highly recommend having on your computer uh, just for stability on certain things uh, what we'll do next is navigate back to a Microsoft site just www.microsoft.com and in the top search here just go ahead and type in silver light hit enter first link you'll see there it says Microsoft silver light just click on that and yet this is another plugin like I said earlier it's just a piece of software that runs in conjunction with your browser to display things um, a lot of things are starting to use a lot of websites are starting to use silver light so that's another good you know important software to have there's the download link there big purple bar you can't miss it um, or button but um, so that's another very important one to have you know besides the Adobe a lot of uh, bubbles that come up you'll see a, a lot of things that say uh, I think I have the link here let me show you real quick that have this it says Java update a lot of people get scared when they see that because it'll say uh, you know people say juchecke.exe or juchecke.exe and uh, you know is that a virus no it's not it's uh, Java is a programming language it's a very very popular programming language uh, it's one that I use uh, it works great uh, it's, it's probably becoming if not one of the most popular languages right now to uh, program a lot of Android applications uh, a lot of uh, a lot of websites out there use it so it's very very important and critical uh, in my opinion to have this up to date on your computer uh, a lot of things will not display properly on your web browser whether you're using you know Firefox uh, Google Chrome which Google Chrome actually has already Adobe Flash Player built in or Internet Explorer which are like the top three web browsers uh, if you don't have this up to date you're just gonna get a lot of you know you may see X's or a bunch of other stuff a lot of errors um, with sites so update this if you ever see this what is ju you know this juchek.exe pop up it's not a virus go ahead and uh, download it install it um, <clears throat> also keep in mind when you're downloading this software you may get a lot of extra stuff that come with it like toolbars which I really hate um, so make sure when you're running through the installation and you and you see a checkbox check see what that is you know if it's if it's a, if you're allowing something to be installed on your computer and you really don't want it you don't want to be the type of person that has a web browser with you know basically like 15 20 toolbars where the like half your screen is the only viewing you know for the web page the rest is toolbars you don't want to do that you know you're you're going to slow down your your internet experience you're going to slow down you know everything so just make sure that when you're installing a lot of the software it comes with other free stuff if you don't want it just uncheck it and keep installing uh, the software so Java Silverlight Adobe uh, very very good uh, software to install and have up to date on your computer um, said this is a programming language Silverlight's a plug-in flash players a, a plug-in um, other things you want to have up to date on your computer Windows Update if you go to start on the bottom left go to all programs and in the uh, list here you'll see where it says Windows updates under all the W's here click on that and there's no important updates for my computer they're just optional updates there's just gonna be language packs that I can download I don't speak anything else but I do speak Spanish but I don't wanna change everything to Spanish so but these are you know Windows updates are very very important to have on your computer they keep your system se secure they keep it running stable uh, they fix all kinds of issues with Windows. Um, it, it's going to constantly be updating. You'll constantly see something that says new updates. Check it out. Um, you don't want to ignore them. Uh, they could be a security, you know, patch or something for the computer to prevent it from, you know, being attacked by a certain virus. So you want to keep your system up to date. Another thing is drivers. <clears throat> if you go to, uh, you can just type in device manager down here. Just hit device manager and there it is right there another way to uh, navigate here is if you go to start 
right click on computer go to properties device manager that's if you have more time on your hands and uh, you have nothing else to do and you want to go the long way some people like doing that you know if you're driving home from work maybe you don't want to go home don't want to be home and, or for some reason want to listen to some good music you take the long way uh, you can do that with computers too if you don't want to do the shortcut take the long way whatever floats your boat but uh, anyways we're here and this is a list of the drivers um, which is also software it's just software that runs specific hardware that's on my computer this list is not going to be the same as the list that you see I mean for the most part it will be but you may have different stuff because you have different hardware you don't have the same exact setup that I have on my computer so but this is something if your driver is not up to date or not installed you may see like an exclamation point a yellow exclamation point or a red X uh, red X usually means that that specific hardware device is not working for some reason what you want to do is keep these up to date if you do Windows updates it updates a lot of the drivers on your computer uh, but you also may have to navigate to the manufacturer website to update you know a specific driver like say you know I wanted a an audio driver right now I'm using an NVIDIA card an NVIDIA card so I have you know NVIDIA drivers but it may be that I have you know a specific HP computer I can just navigate to their site and it's really easy to download drivers from the manufacturer website just let's say use HP as an example just go to HP.com oh there it is support and drivers so click on that just driver software type in the specific model for whatever driver you're trying to trying to download you know just type it in here for your computer you'll probably get a long list of all the drivers that's a, another way you can uh, update let's go to Dell's website just so I can show you how easy it is to find it pretty much anywhere Dell here it's a little trickier to find but if you go up here where it says technical support it's usually going to be under some kind of support something support for home users which is you know unless you're a business you want to go here start here voila there it is uh, get drivers manuals all kinds of stuff for your computer in this case there's usually service tags attached to uh, Dell computers and it's a sticker somewhere on the computer itself uh, but drivers is something that you want to uh, keep update updated make sure because uh, it keeps your your hardware functioning correctly uh, that, like I said all it is driver is just a piece of a piece of software that basically tells your operating system hey I'm a sound card hey I'm a motherboard I'm a processor you know this is how you use me because the operating system really is not that bright without the driver it really doesn't know what to do the hardware could be there and functioning perfectly but without this right driver your computer is not going to know what how to use it it's basically just instruction on how to use it the last thing uh, besides your Windows update besides those uh, additional softwares that I that I showed you already the Adobe the Microsoft Silverlight the Java update uh, the certain plugins and the drivers and the Windows <clears throat> the last thing I would highly recommend keeping up to date is your antivirus program um, this case I have uh, Microsoft Security Essentials so I just open that up as you can see it's up to date um, by just clicking the update tab clicking update here it was last updated what the 20th um, so you want to keep your antivirus up to date because it's going to give you the latest security definitions for that specific program you know whether you use Norton uh, whatever antivirus program you use keep it up to date it normally will update itself but it may prompt you and that may be one of the things up here that it prompts you don't ignore it you know ig ignoring things is just really going to cause a lot of problems on your computer especially if, if you're ignoring these things that I've you know showed you today though those are things that I would say are very important to have on your computer if you don't have them to keep them updated on your computer if they're not fully updated um, because it's just critical to run and to have a, a, a functioning computer so if you see bubbles popping up here balloons whatever you want to call it um, if it's any of the ones that I mentioned go ahead and run it install it uh, <clears throat> just to be sure always create a system restore point um, just go to start go to computer actually no sorry start do a right click over computer then go to properties which says here system protection you can create a system restore point so before you do any of this if you're afraid of what I have told you um, create that system restore point in case something happens where it conflicts with something on your computer and then all of a sudden you just you know you get things screwed up so 
<coughs> just make sure, excuse me, I am uh, recovering from being sick, so I sound kind of weird right now. But create a restore point, you know, keep your system backed up. I can't mention this enough. Uh, so many people just don't back up their stuff. If it's not important to you, then, then don't back it up. Who cares? You know, if you lose your system, whatever. But if you have important stuff, email, pictures, documents, uh, if it's something just remotely important, buy a cheap flash drive, back it up, you know, back it up two or three times. Just just do it. You know, it's, it's not that hard. It doesn't cost that much money to back up stuff on your computer. Uh, because when it crashes or something happens, guess what? You're going to be way more angry at yourself that you didn't. And uh, you may end up having to spend more money than, than, you know, had you taken that precaution. But that applies to almost anything in life. So, But let me just recap, you know, Adobe. Just go to adobe.com. Downloads. And there they are. Download those four software there if you don't already have them. Navigate to Microsoft site. It's Microsoft.com. Just type in Silverlight in the search. It's going to be the first link. There it is. Download now. Have that. Go to Java's website. Just Java.com. That where it says free Java download. Just click there. Agree and start download. And it's going to download the latest Java version. Uh, Windows updates start all programs there they are windows updates make sure you update uh, your computer the optional updates that's up to you also device manager there it is and make sure your driver the reason I have these arrows is to have certain things disabled on my computer that I want I don't want running right now but uh, it should look something like this if you have a exclamation or red X it's because something is wrong on your computer uh, or a specific driver that you may need updated and the last thing would be your antivirus program make sure that that's updated and uh, run scan at least I would say once a week at least uh, some people never do uh, make sure it's running automatically if you're too lazy to do it yourself so and make sure your computer's on when you actually set it to run or set it to run the next time your computer turns on so those are some of the softwares that a lot of people have asked me you know what what should I update on my computer those are the ones that you want to update and want to have so that concludes this video. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope this was informative for you. And that's all I have.